Hey guys, today we're gonna teach you how to get more power on the serve and one step closer to developing the perfect kinetic chain with a concept called flow power. That's right, it's really tricky for a lot of rec players to master the kinetic chain, especially on the serve, but we're gonna show you the 3X system today and I think it's gonna help you guys out a lot. I'm Matt. I'm Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Let's get on the court and start hitting some serves. All right, Matt, so one of the things that robs so many tennis players out there of power is that they have a hitch in their serve. They throw the ball, the racket stops all minute, stops, and then they go. The racket stops all minute, stops. So one of the things that I believe in is the power of three. Really practice some shadow strokes, making sure that you get this thing going on their own. Most people can do that once they practice for a little while, right? get that racket going. So what I'd like people to start doing is going one shadow stroke, two shadow stroke, and then let it go and hit the serve. One shadow stroke, two shadow stroke, and then let it go and hit the serve. So if you get a nice feel, a nice smooth motion on the shadow stroke, the idea is it'll transfer over to when you actually throw the ball up. Now here's one of the things that people have trouble with though, is they can do those shadow strokes, right? But then when they go to throw the ball up themselves, they struggle with that timing, and then they go right back into the hesitation. So that's why right. you're here to help me today, because sometimes it helps to have a friend or a coach by the side help you work out that timing to where I'm gonna be doing my shadow stroke for two, and on a third ball, you're gonna throw it up. I'm and gonna I'm toss it. Because a lot, of, a lot of times, people's muscle memory will kick in. Once they introduce the toss, they're doing two things at once. So the right arm is just gonna slip into muscle memory mode but now he doesn't have to worry about it because I'm going to be the tosser. So I'm going to go one, two, and then three. Not bad. Let's Pretty smooth. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. We're ready. One, two, and then he lets it go, and then hit. Woo! Yeah. So then that helps build all that momentum and racket at speed right in there. So that hitch move that you just saw right there, that is a very common mistake that recreational players are doing out there and I actually identify them as power leaks. And in my 35 years of playing and coaching, I've actually identified over 20 possible power leaks that players are making out there. That's right, we saw all these power leaks and then we knew we had to make a three-part series for you guys, totally free. We're gonna show you how to get into it really quick, but let's tell you about it. In video one, we're gonna show you another common power leak, but it's the easiest one to fix. And in video two, we're gonna show you something called the secret power source. Now this is a move that professional athletes like Tom Brady, Roger Federer, basically anything where you're coming over the head trying to generate power on, all these professional athletes are doing, but yet very few recreational players do. That's right, and in video three, we're gonna show you guys how to find your ideal serve speed. You still wanna be hitting the ball hard, but you gotta be able to get it in the box. We're gonna teach you how to get the perfect blend of consistency and power on the serve. All they gotta do is click right here, get access right now to the three-part series for developing power on your serve, and if that's not working for you, we got the link down below and right in the description of this video. So we'll see you right inside the train, guys. See you there.